all right another feature update with go high level and today i uh, just want to talk about their new feature update in their crm contact uh, with the ability and the support for o o r or logic in their filtering all right and we're going to go over that right now Paul Kim here, and I am a huge enthusiast of Go High Level, and I'm here sharing with you how we use it in our business every day. All right. So before I get into the new feature update, I want to share with you, you know, um, why a CRM is so important in your business. I'm going to share with you two features or two things about Go High Level uh, CRM, which it makes it so versatile and so awesome. Okay, uh, that we use it every day. Um, why is a CRM important in your business? Because at the end of the day, you know whether you're selling uh, courses or whether you're selling high ticket, your customers, you need to have a place where you keep all of your information about your leads and contacts, uh, your customers, clients, and you need to be able to tag them uh, or categorize them or and even put information in that database. And that's where Go High Level CRM is so awesome and so versatile. And two things I want to talk to you about today is their ability to filter um, you know, your database, um, whether you have a hundred or thousands or tens of thousands of people in your database, uh, Go High Level can handle that. And then um, their ability to create smart lists. And we'll go over that uh, a little bit later. Let's start off with their filtering capabilities. And uh, in order for me to best uh, show you their filtering capability, let's share my screen and uh, let's get to it. All right, we are in my account. Uh, under contacts. And as you can see, there are 425 contacts that are listed here. So let me move my face over here and we'll go to filter. Now, uh, Go High Level's CRM uh, contact filtering capability is so amazing and versatile. It, they have the ability to filter so many different ways. Um, you can filter, these are like most used, their contact information. Um, there is contact activity, there is opportunity, which is pipelines, membership, attributions, um, custom fields, uh, Go High Level, ha you have the ability to create custom fields with Go High Level. And so uh, um, in this case, let's just do a first level filtering by tag. So recently I, uh, I created a mastermind which we we meet weekly and so i'm gonna filter it by those people elevate um, that's what i call it uh, by mastermind and so as you can see here when i click apply there are 97 records so let's just say assume that i want to um the on the first level i not only want to show those people that um are in the mastermind that has a tag, but I also want to filter them by maybe certain activity, let's say. Um, maybe uh, last activity is less than five days ago. So let's just click apply. It, it was at 97 records and let's see what happens. 23, so the 23 records, those are people that have the mastermind tag and then their activity was five days ago right so those are the people that maybe uh, when you're looking at this um, these are people that you want to contact and so this is a way for you to filter and show in your crm on visually the 23 people that are um, uh, basically have those two uh, filtering on the first level now the new feature is the ability to create an O tag. So maybe not only do you want to show this, but maybe there's another set of tags that possibly you want to get in touch with and you create this or. So basically it's showing these people as well as or. Um, you also want to create a tag. Maybe I want to reach out to people that are that have received some downloadable, you know, uh, 
maybe uh, people that you've uh, tagged them in a separate um, you know category so in this case let me say uh, I also have a blueprint that I uh, give out for free so I want to reach out to those people that have the opt-in um, that that opted into my blueprint and so if I apply that let's say I have 23 currently before then let's say click 23 and now I see there's 73 contacts so we have filter where I have this group of people and then I have another group of people that it shows or so I've expanded the number of people that I want to uh, reach out to and so even under here opt-in maybe I want to filter it by people that uh, maybe uh, let's say uh, email activity so or some sort of activity within the contacts so I say last activity is less than let's say seven days so now it's 25 so now I have two levels which is the first um, level is this group and then another level is this set of group and so um, this capability was not there before and this is awesome because now you have the ability to uh, do a lot of filtering uh, and it's so versatile right so now you can have a list so if you just click outside and now you have a list of people that you can potentially uh, go into each of these uh, contacts and be able to uh, reach out to them call them uh, you know, email them uh, text them in you know in, in in individually okay now that is number one the filtering capability of go high level now Let's go talk about smart list. Uh, smart list, excuse me. So smart list is the ability. So let's just say you created this filter and um, you wanted to save this list. Now, why would you save this list? The the reason you want to save this list is because you don't want to be creating these filters every time, so that you have the ability to go to this list as quickly as possible. So when you save as a smart list, let's just say this is, for example, your uh, done for you service um, hot list. So let's call it hot list, uh, just saying hypothetically like, all right, so then now, as soon as you click on that, it becomes a list up here. And so now you have created a, a, a smart list up here. And so let's say, um, later on you go and create another filter so i'm going to cl clear this out so once you clear this filter out now it will show all of them so let's say oh the list no don't say the changes so i want to keep the hot list so now you want to this now shows all 425 contacts records right so let's just say in order for us to go to that list before now i have to go through the same filtering as i did before you don't want to be doing that every time you want to look for the hot list right or those list of people that you're looking for and so all you do is click on this list the, the hot the smart list that not the hot list but the smart list that you created and you click on that button and voila 25 records and this will be dynamic so meaning that if you added people afterwards after you created that list it will be dy dynamic meaning that that list will be updated with the new contacts now how do you manage this list you can go to the manage smart list right here and you can you can see that uh, there is this list uh, that's available now you can either um, share it with your team if you prefer to or you can delete it and, or you can modify and change the name accordingly all right all right, so another great feature with Go High Level is their ability to do bulk action. So let's go back to uh, all. And so now let's say, for example, you have created this hot list of you know, uh, people that you want to potentially get in contact with. Now, bulk actions are these items here. Now, what's great about this is that you have, once you've filtered out a list, whether using the filtering here or whether by using the hot uh the, not the hot list but the smart list again um you have the ability to add change where they are in their pipeline you have the ability to um, add them 
to actually you have to select all of them and select all 25 records and you have the ability to add them to campaigns or workflows you can also have the ability to do a mass text message you also have the ability to send a mass uh, email to them you also have the ability to remove uh, to add tags and remove tags um, you can also delete them you can also uh, send review requests to all of them and you can also um, uh, these are importing and exporting so these bulk actions this is uh, i use this all the time where i have the ability to filter out a list and send emails contact uh, text messages uh, as well as um, send review requests that's I, I, I this is a new one I have to admit okay that wasn't there before I, I don't believe but now that I see that that is a great uh, um, feature where you can send send a mass request for reviews okay so as you can see go high levels um, CRM and their contact and their filtering capability and the smart list and the ability to do bulk actions. Their platform is so versatile when it comes to uh, being a very um, awesome CRM. Before I finish this video, I just wanna give you one piece of advice uh, just from my experience from building lists, building databases that um, a, a, a CRM or database or an email list it's only as good as if you use it. Before you start utilizing it, really sit down and think about and like build out how you're going to tag these contacts and how you're going to structure your leads. Okay, that's one piece of advice because once you think, uh, once you do that afterwards, uh, your your list and database is going to be really, uh, uh, I guess, very messy. And so sit down and really figure that out before you uh, start building out your list. All right. Hope this was helpful. Write in the comments below what you thought, um, you know, what you think about these capabilities and does your uh, current CRM have those capabilities? And if not, I encourage you to check out Go High Level. All right. Bye now.